Hey, so I have a cool lesson for you today. Um, something I've explored a lot is 12-tone stuff. In fact, even at my wedding, I wrote 12-tone pieces for my wife to walk down with violin and piano and stuff. And it's just something I've been really interested in for a long time. And I'm also an improviser, so <clears throat> I like to be able to pull upon this kind of thing. So people ask me sometimes, you know, what... How can you even improvise in 12 tones? It's kind of hard to keep track of everything. There's all these, you know, how do you remember which notes you played or didn't play and, and all these other kind of things. So I've, it's always coming up with little devices that you can use to keep track of it. And there's um, a variety of different things you could do. You could think of like two whole tone scales or something um, and try to remember where you were and... and you, or you could think of little little smaller cells of three notes. Um, it's quite a variety, and we can get into it later. But I thought I would share this one that was really, it's really so simple, and you already kind of know it. You just don't realize that you know it yet because you weren't thinking about it. So let me show you this. The answer to this puzzle lives right on the piano keyboard. My, my messing that up you know and if you think how can I possibly remember what I need to do um, to be able to keep doing 12 tone lines and, and actually keep it an idea of where I was with it and here's something to think about what do we all know we know that the white keys are C major in this case right Regardless of what note we start on, we have C major. Now, some of you that are maybe more clever or more aware, you might also realize that the black keys are an E flat minor pentatonic scale or an F sharp major pentatonic. I tend to think in minor pentatonics because I'm a guitar player, but so the simple solution is whatever major key you're in, in this case major, you can think about a minor pentatonic, um, a minor third up from it. So to get all 12 notes, you can play a scale like that. So we have C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and you could go B flat, A flat, G flat, E flat, D flat, D. <clears throat> so to me, that you know, especially as a jazz guy, it's, it's sort of easier to think about this. You know, it's easy to remember what I was with the C major scale. So if I improvise. Oops, <laughs> not so easy to play on this little keyboard, especially when I'm not looking at the keyboard. But uh, you can keep track of where you were. You can think, oh, I'm in C major, and I played, I know which notes I played in there, and oh, now I'm in E flat minor, and now I'll play those notes, and then go back to C major and play those notes, and then go back to E flat minor. So not trying to play them both at the same time, but keep them as separate sort of tone cells. And... We'll explore that a little more on the guitar here. Now we take a look on the guitar and we can play a C major scale. Don't go to C, right? So it's C, D, E, F, G, A, B. And then to do what I did on the piano that we were just showing you, B flat, A flat, G flat, E flat, G flat, C. Also go down. You know, you could start um, with the pentatonic scale. You know, those kind of things. Uh, another thing you could do um, is. If you play in thirds, 
um, it, you go through all the notes. So like C, E, G, B, D, F, and then the A. C, E, G, B, D, F, A. And then just go down pentatonics. So you could have a line that goes... You can do it from anywhere. I started on C, and I can start on D, start on E, start on F, start on G, start on A. So you have all these different options, or you could descend or ascend, but just by thinking in the C major, in this case, and then the E flat minor pentatonic as separate entities, it makes it a little bit easier to improvise. You can even, you know, something maybe you wouldn't do, you know, that's, so I was thinking C, so that's C, D, B, and then, so I got all, all the C major notes and then switch to E flat minor and then resolve with a G and just keep resolving with the half steps. And these aren't nicks, licks really, I'm just thinking how could I do this? The nice thing is you're always a half step away from a good note um, when you do this approach. So you're always you're kind of creating tension with your lines. Um, now check this out. I'll put some music on. So we have the C major two five one. So one idea is to use that C major thing that we did the first thing that we did from the piano. So you know. We could also use this thing that I was talking about. Uh, I'll start it when it turns around. C, G, G. Yeah. Those kind of things. Pretty nice, and that's a 12 tone line. And I'm just thinking um, C major, that's seven notes, so I know, um, so I know I've done them all. Yeah. Um, so it's kind of a subtle way to actually throw 12 tone lines in there. And I hope that is helpful. I think it's pretty cool. Um, so many ways to mess around with it and it's really easy to think about in my opinion. And then you could get even more complicated. You could start throwing in other stuff. Oh, something worth noting is because we're in C major, really to do A natural minor, if you were thinking in minor, you know, you're just thinking from here. It's still the same idea though. So I start on it. If I was playing a minor progression, it would work on there as well. 
So, anyway, thanks, folks. Um, enjoy your 12-tone. Maybe even write some wedding music with it. Peace.